Hi guys, welcome back to the third video of the photomorphogenesis and in this video we will be studying the phytochrome. Alright, and if you haven't watched the last two videos related to photomorphogenesis, you should go and watch them first and then come back to this video. So now we'll be starting what phytochrome is. So phytochrome is the photomorphogenetic pigment that absorbs the red and the far red light and hence causes the photomorphogenesis and it also absorbs blue light. Alright, so what is phytochrome? It is also as a, a photomorphogenetic pigment which is helping in the absorption of the far red and red light and hence causes photomorphogenesis. It also absorbs the blue light that is in, in you know it is absorbing the red and the you know far red light but also it is absorbing the blue light so it is referred as a photomorphogenetic pigment. Now phytochromes are found in most plants as they induce the following that is chloroplast development, leaf senescence, stem elongation, stem germination, flowering and every other process that you have to see in the growing plant stages. Alright, so these are phytochromes and phytochromes, again we will be repeating, phytochromes are the photomorphogenetic pigment that are absorbing the red light and far red light and hence causes photomorphogenesis. So phytochromes are found in most plants and hence they induce what the, what what are they inducing? They're inducing the chloroplast development, leaf senescence, stem germination, stem elongation, flower. So next, we come to phytochrome. is a family of chromoproteins with a small covalently bound pigment molecule. All right. So what are phytochromes? They are a family of chromoproteins, and they have a small covalently bound pigment molecule. It occurs as a dimer of 2.125 kilodalton polypeptide, each with a covalently attached pigment molecule. Alright, so this pigment molecule is referred as the chromophore. So till now we have discussed phytochrome is a family of chromoprotein and it consists of a small covalently bound molecule called as the pigment molecule. So now the phytochrome it occurs as a dimer of 2125 kilo dalton polypeptide. ठीक है दो dimer uh, dimer होता है जिसमें दो 125 kilo daltons के polypeptides are attached and they are uh, covalently attached to the pigment molecule. So the pigment which is with which they are attached are called as chromophore. Now what is a chromophore? It is a linear tetrapyrrol called as the phytochromobilin and is a very similar to the structure of bilirubin in mammals. In mammals as you know what is bilirubin? Bilirubin is a type of you know bile pigment. Bile pigments which are present in the bile juice. Bile juice consists of two pigments that uh, sorry bile juice consists of two com components that are bile salts and bile uh, pigments. So bile pigments is basically bilirubin and bilverdin and the structure of chromophore is similar to that of the bilirubin in case of mammals. These are providing the color to the urine and faces in humans. So their structure is very similar to that of the chromophore which is a pigment molecule in case of the phytochrome that we are talking here. Alright, so now photochromobilin is synthesized in the plastids and its precursor is amino limonic acid. So together the apoprotein that is the polypeptide chain and the chromopore together they make up the holoprotein. That is uh, in case of the holoenzymes also we have studied the apoprotein is also helping in the pro uh, for proper formation of the holoprotein. So in this case the apoprotein that is a polypeptide chain when it is coming and attaching to its chromophore together they are making up a holoprotein. So therefore the important point is assembly of the apoprotein with its chromophore is autocatalytic and it occurs spontaneously in the whole process. Alright, so till now we have studied what phytochrome is. It is a, a photomorphogenetic pigment. It absorbs blue light and uh, far red light and red light. And it is found in most of the plants and helps in senescence, leaf senescence, uh, stem germination, elongation, flowering, development of the chloroplast, etc. And now it consists of a chromoprotein. It is a, uh, it is a family of chromoproteins with a small covalently bound pigment molecules and it consists of two 125 kilodaltons polypeptide. 
each with a covalently attached pigment molecule. So this pigment molecule is referred as chromophore and chromophore is a linear tetrapyral structure of the photochromobilin and it consists of a structure which is similar to bilirubin. Bilirubin I have already explained to you it is the uh, structure or it is a pigment which is present in the bile juice and that provides color to the feces in the urine case of mammals. The photochromobilin synthesized in the plastids and its precursor is amino levinic acid. So together the apoprotein plus the chromophore they are together forming the holoprotein and assembly of apoprotein with its chromophore is autocatalytic and it occurs spontaneously. So now we come to the structure. The N-terminal region and the C-terminal region. Okay, There are two regions. The N-terminal region consists of the PAS, GAF and PHY which are called as the photosensory regions or the photosensory domains of the phytochrome and the C-terminal contains PRDs and HKRDs that is histidine kinase related domains and this is known as the regulatory domain as you can see phytochromobilin phytochromobilin is attached on the upper two sides this is the N terminal this is the C terminal and in between is a longer region called as the hinge region this is the regulatory domain and this is the photosensory domain and these phytochromobilin are attached to the GAF region with the help of thioester linkages on both upper flight and as well as the lower side. Alright, so photochrome, phytochrome pigments are found to be present in two photodiversible forms. One is the uh, red light absorbing form that is the PR form and the third one is the far red light absorbing form that is the PFR form. And they are absorbed at 666 nanometers. Red light that is PR form is absorbed at 666 nanometer and the far red light that is a PFR form is absorbed at 730 nanometers. So now the PFR, uh, PR forms absorbs red light at a peak of 666 nanometer which is bright blue in color and inactive form now that. Okay, it is always the PR form it is, the, it is absorbing the red light which is at the 666 nanometer and it is bright blue in color and inactive form but when it absorbs red light it is converted to the PFR form so when it is inactive form and what does it do when it absorbs red light absorb karta hai, it is converted to the PFR form the PFR form absorbs far red light which is maximum at 730 nanometers which is green in color the active form is converted to the where it absorbs far red light it is converted to the PFR form Okay, so it is I'll explaining uh, I'll explain it to you with the help of a diagram, right? So PFR can spontaneously revert to PFR form in the dark over time and this process is called as dark reversion. You can see this with the help of a diagram. PR form, inactive form out there, red light ko absorb karke, red light ko absorb karte, it converts to PFR form, which is an inactive se active form mein convert ho jata hai but far red light jaise isko absorb karta hai to ye kya hota hai jab bhi dark ki presence mein conversion hoti hai to unko hum bolte hain dark reversion okay i will explain here the pfr red light is converted to the pr form in the dark over time and this process is called as the dark reversion process so when the chromophore absorbs light there are a slight change in the conformation of the protein protein to a form that initiates a response. मतलब जैसे हम chromophore के through light absorb होती है तो वहाँ पे confirmatory change हो जाता है. That is the confirmation gets changed whenever the light is being absorbed by the chromophore. That is the confirmation change comes in the protein protein part. It forms and it initiates a response. The action spectrum of the light needed for phytochrome mediated response shows a peak in the red at a, about 666 nanometer. So the action spectrum of the light needed for phytochrome, jitna bhi action spectrum ke liye light chahiye hoti for the photochrome mediated response, it shows a peak at the red light and at, a, uh, at about 666 nanometer. So therefore these responses can be reversed by the application of the far red light that is at 730 nanometers and it is happening after the red treatment all right now upon absorption of light the pr chromophore undergoes a cis trans isomerization in the c15 and c16 double bond between the c and d rings of the linear tetrapyrrole so now 
this change is observed in the NMR analysis and it, NMR analysis shows that a pyrrole ring around the C4 and C5 double bond rotates during the photoconversion. So, jitna bhi confirmatory change ho raha hai, wo yahan pe ho raha hai. Sis se trans isomerization process ho jata hai. C15 and C16 carbon ke beech mein jo double bond hota hai, it is changed and this can be observed with the help of NMR analysis. Alright. In Arabidopsis thaliana, five phytochromes called as PHY A, B, C, D, and E. So, according to their stability in light, it is quite stable in light. Mein. So, they are divided into two groups type 1 and type 2. So, PHY A type 1 is the light labile phytochrome, and PHY B to PHY E are all light stable phytochromes. Okay? So, PHY A is the most abundant in the dark grown plants called as the etiolated plants. So, PHY, belong, PHY A belongs to type 1 and it is the most abundant in the dark grown plant, whereas its level drops rapidly upon exposure to red light. But in case of light grown plants, PHY B is the most abundant phytochrome. Whereas PHY C cell ke E tak, they are less abundant in contrast to the light labile PHY A. The PFRs form PHY B, C, D, and E is light stable and the action of PHY B till PHY E is inhibited by the far red light. These are all you have to memorize these points as they cannot be, you know. You, know, you can just try and understand these points, but you have to learn in which type PHY A belongs, in which type E belongs, and kiska kon light labile hai, kon light stable hai, and kiska amount zada hai, kiska amount kam hai. So you need to memorize these points as they are very important and they can be, you know, easily uh, for MCQ, they can easily be coming in the exams. So this is the graph which shows that. PFR region and PR region, you can see the absorbance and wavelength are present at the x axis and the y axis. And now, each uh, in functions, I have explained a single single function of each PHYA. For example, helps in seed germination, seedling deetiolation, and promotes flowering. PHYB, petiole, and internode elongation may help. Karte seedling deetiolation under continuous red light may help. Karte PHYC is a primary leaf expansion may help. Karte and DNA shade avoidance response that is petiole and internode elongation may help with that. So this is the most important part of photomorphogenesis and you need to memorize all the points because this is very important. The most important of all the three of them, phytochrome, cyto to submiss is other important jo hai, wo hai, red light, PFR, PR forms and kitne nanometer pe kaun absorb karta hai, kaun kis pe convert hota hai, what is the meaning of dark reversion and what else, what is chromophore and how is it attached, what is the precursor of chromophore, graphs each functions and PHYA, 5 phytochromes ke types hote hai, PHYA, B, C, D, E, what is their amount, which is lead, uh, you know, which is light labile, which is light stable and which one belongs to which type. So all of you need to memorize these points and this chapter is very very important for net point of view and I think I've given you all the points here but still if you find anything missing you can just comment down in the section and I hope you guys like this video so kindly subscribe guys so that I can make more and more videos for you guys and click the bell icon so that you get the first notification whenever I upload something new. Okay bye. So take care guys. Bye.